everybody, welcome back to Lift Ray and Tool. On today, we have something awesome. So Harbor Freight, as you know, they've been bringing up their cordless tools and they've been promoting them. So you have Bauer, you have Hercules, you have uh, Warrior, you've got all these different brands, but Hercules is the one that's on top. At least that's what they rated as, as their best. Well, recently they've been coming out with brushless tools and they're going to start to compete with some of the, some of the brands that perform on a higher level, such as Cobalt, Ryobi, Craftsman, and I, I would think that that's where they were be gearing uh, to kind of target, but I was really intrigued by this, so I went ahead and I picked up, this is the reciprocating saw, this is the 20 volt cordless reciprocating saw, and it is brushless. And this was $99 as the bare tool. I got the five amp hour battery with it, which was $65, and then I picked up a charger for another $30. So roughly $200 and I was able to get this. Now that I'm invested in the battery, I can buy multiple tools as well. Um, and I didn't want the 2.5, they just seem pretty weak. So I went ahead and got the five amp hour battery. Um, so we're gonna do an unboxing. I've already charged up the battery because we're gonna do a few tests as well. So let's do uh, first reactions with this tool. Let's kind of go over the specifications, build quality, and let's test this thing out and see how it actually works. So this is the tool, it's wrapped in a bag. It seems that we have another box. Oh, here we go. There's another box in here. We have a blade. And we have the book that comes with it. Set these to the side. We'll remember to read that thing through thoroughly. So it comes with a blade. Let's take it out of the package. This is a Hercules metal blade and it says legendary performance. Okay, so here it is. It has a nice rafter hook on the back of it. It's a multi-position. It's got some cams in there. That's nice to see. It has a trigger lock right here on your lever for this, so it's not a lever where you actually have to hit the shaft. You just have a single pull lever here. That's how you get the blades in and out. Let's insert this blade real quick. Yep, so it's locked in. Um, on the bottom side, you have a button here, and this is the fence adjustment and it actually comes out if you need to go ahead and change that out. If you damage it, let's see how many adjustments. It looks like it has three. Okay, one, two, and three. I typically keep one here and it has an adjustable fence as well. And the rubber over molding here is really thick. That's what you would expect. The rubber over molding here is thick as well. Let's see how the balance feels. You know what, this is actually, it's actually really balanced. Let's throw a battery in and see how it sounds. Oh, and look here. It says for maximum performance, only use a five amp hour battery and up. So you actually can't use a two amp hour battery on this because it will not perform. You just won't have the right amount of power. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, we got the lock on. That thing moves. So this does zero, it's a variable speed trigger. And it does zero to 3,000 strokes per minute. Uh, now the actual stroke, and let me just show you what that means. That is, the stroke is how long or how far this travels back and forth, and that is an inch and an eighth. So it's able to travel that far at 3,000 maximum strokes per minute. Uh, so that is a lot of cutting power that you're going to have with this particular tool. And I'll tell you what, you can feel the power. The build quality is pretty phenomenal. Um, it is a full plastic body. This looks like it's you know, maybe uh, cast aluminum, but it's not. It's just painted metallic. Um, 
you know, but I do have to say it, it feels very solid. It doesn't feel cheap in any way. It feels, there's a good amount of weight here. This does weigh six pounds or just over six pounds. Uh, that's for the tool itself, not including the battery. So you may be approaching seven. The only thing left to do is, uh, let's go ahead and put this through a few tests. So for the test, I'm gonna use a nine inch. This is a nail embedded wood DeWalt blade. It works well. We can't use the blade that came with it because unfortunately that is a metal blade. So we'll take that out real quick. We'll throw this blade in. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut through. This is a pressure treated 2x4. We'll flip it around and then we're going to cut through a 4x6. That's why I have such a large blade on here. And then we're going to go straight over to metal. We're going to cut through some metal. Three, two, one. Okay, let's push it and let's try to really bog this motor down this time. Wow, I put a lot of pressure on that and the motor didn't bog. It really just kind of soldiered through. All right, let's see how it does with the thicker wood. Okay, so this is pretty tough stuff. This is a 2x4 and a 4x4. So it's a 4x6 at this point. That's really going to put this through the test. Um, I am going to push it because I want to see how much power this can actually produce here. So let's go ahead and get into it in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> that actually cut it really well. I'm really surprised I put a lot of uh, muscle into that, so uh, you know it performed really well. So let's go ahead and move on to the metal. All right, so we're going to start here, and let's just cut one off and see how it does. Three, two, one. All right, let's cut one more just to just to see if it does any better here. Now I know that has a lot to do with the blade itself, but that soldier through there with no problem. In fact, it cut it a lot easier than it did the wood. Okay, so I'll say this, between those tests, I wanna put it through a little bit more rigorous of a test. So let's go ahead and take this out to the woods and we're gonna prune some big trees. I'm thinking we're probably gonna hit some two, three inch in diameter limbs. And then um, I do have a tree that I fell a couple weeks ago and it's about four inches to five inches thick. Let's put the pruning blade on this and let's go ahead and jump out there. Okay, so I think that turned out really well. I think it performed well in the woods, um, and by far, that was the hardest test that I did on this, is going out and I pruned the trees. Now the blade that I was using, this is a 12 inch Diablo carbide tipped pruning blade. Um, I've used it for a while, it's not a brand new blade, but I tell you, it is just as sharp as the day that I had bought it. Um, and I've used it with multiple other reciprocating saws as well. Uh, now, I will say that 
there's a lot of vibration here. I mean, there's a lot of vibration. My hands are still almost kind of tingling. Um, but on the flip side, I think with what I was putting this through, it's more vibration than you would see in a typical situation. Uh, so this did very well. It was able to cut that four, four and a half inch tree just fine. It was able to cut the limbs, prune the limbs just fine. Um, and there wasn't really any, you know, a, a big issue there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I actually still have full battery. Um, so I was really happy with that. I think they did a great job for a first pass on a brushless cordless tool. They're hitting the market with some really great features. I like to see that it has a rafter hook. Um, I think it's fantastic that they have an adjustable fence. Um, I think the lever on the outside is great for you know, uh, changing blades quickly. Um, so all in all, I think it performed well. I do recommend this tool. I think that it would make a very productive tool in your arsenal. I hope that you all enjoyed this review and testing out this tool. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell because you wanna miss all my awesome content. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, but I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.